Important disclaimer before we begin the video, transferring between OS's will cause you to lose your Rainbow Diamonds, Bonus Rush 30, Special Rush 30, and any Battle Passes you own. So that means if you're transferring from iPhone to Android or Android to iPhone, you will lose all the things I just said. You won't lose any of your items such as frags, boost orbs, and special skill orbs. But everything that you pay for with actual money like gems, Rush 30s, and Battle Passes, you will lose. The emulator pretty much acts like a Android phone. So if you're transferring from an iPhone to emulator, you will lose all the said things. So definitely keep that in mind before you go through with the tutorial. If you are a iPhone user, I would only recommend you do this if you spent all your rainbow diamonds and have none. And also if you don't have any bonus rush 30 or battle pass, any of those things. Also, I do recommend you guys keep a backup of your account using Facebook because Facebook is also usable on the emulator slash Android. On iPhone, you're able to back up your account via Apple ID as well, but Android slash emulator doesn't have that. You can only use Facebook or Google Play. And of course you can use a transfer ID, which did get improved a bit by Bandai because you can now use it multiple times, but there's still a time limit to transfer ID. So it's better to keep your account backed up to one of the actual account linking methods. All right, what's going on guys? So today, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we're gonna be installing OPBR on PC in 2023. So this is the updated method. And I recently found out that this is the superior method over Bluestacks because today we're gonna be using LD Player 9 instead of Bluestacks 4. 32 bit nougat which was pretty outdated and it was the best method to get 60 fps and beyond you could uncap the frame rates no other emulator even the updated versions of blue stacks didn't allow for that but now we have LG player 9 which is actually a emulator used by like csgo sweats and stuff so you know they know their thing so now we don't have to worry about all the bugs that come with blue stacks and we're able to enjoy that smooth buttery gameplay with that uncapped fps on ld player 9. to get started all we need to do is open up a web browser i'm going to be using chrome and we're going to be searching up ld player 9 i'll leave the link in the description as well for you guys to download it a bit easier so we're going to be opening up LD Player 9, this first little site. And the emulator version we're downloading is LD Player 9 on the left. So go ahead and click that. And you could see the download on the bottom left. We're just going to go ahead and click that and run the download file. For step two, all we want to do is go ahead and install LD Player 9. You can change the location of where to install it, but I'm just going to keep it at the regular place and click install. All right, so once the installation is finished, you should have two new icons on your desktop. One is LD Player 9 and the other is LD Multiplayer. LD Player 9 is actually the emulator that we're gonna use, like the main emulator. But say you wanted to have multiple accounts and multiple like, like emulators, you would pretty much use multiplayer and you could add instance over here and just add um, a bunch of emulators. I usually do this because I have F2P Soul, of course. So I have one for my main, one for F2P Soul, and um, a couple for giveaway accounts and stuff that you guys see on the live streams. But I don't do this just yet. I like to configure everything on my main. And then as you can see, you could clone instance and just clone the ones with the OPBR. And it's actually a pretty helpful feature. For LD player specifically, I had to allow my antivirus to actually like go past this because i think this is an open source little um project so it's, it's you know it gets uh, <laughs> like flagged by antivirus and stuff so you might have to do the same and just allow ld player on your antivirus so let's just click start here get into the main emulator this is where we're gonna do all of our goodies this is where we're gonna play our game and stuff all right boom it's opened as you can see the emulator has booted up we could go over here, click the three lines up here and then settings. And then um, here are the settings I like to run um, for the RAM. Four gigabytes shouldn't be too bad, but this does allow you to go to eight gigabytes of RAM or uh, 8000 megabytes. So I like to do that because Bluestacks actually didn't allow you to go beyond uh, four gigabytes. But 
that's how you know uh, for is fine. Um, and if your PC has less, just experiment and you could turn down the settings here for the resolution, but I like to have the max. Um, so that's nice. And all the other settings I leave the same. You can leave the model the same. Uh, I wouldn't really mess with this. Um, don't mess with that. And here's the most important part. So frame rate, you wanna change that to honestly just as high as it could go. I'm just gonna do 240 and it says it's gonna consume high CPU and it might lag, but just do confirm, it's fine. It enables the high frame rate option for you automatically. And the rest of the settings, you could pretty much leave the same, boom. And another cool thing about this is you could actually change your wallpaper. So boom, I just um, picked the wallpaper from my pictures and look at that. I found that really cool on this emulator. It's a little more customizable than blue stacks. But yeah, rest of the settings, you leave the same, click restart now and we'll let it restart. All right, so once we're back on the emulator, all we have to do is simply log into Google and download OPBR. So all you do is search OPBR in the search bar and we should get that popping. They do have JP version as well. And that's pretty cool that they got that. Once you see OPBR there, click install and we're gonna have to sign in to Google here. This is just your Gmail or your YouTube account, email, whatever you have and just sign in with that. All right, once you're logged in, it'll just put you here and just go ahead and click install. Also, I like to keep my Google account linked with my F2P Soul account and my Facebook is linked to my main account. So that way I'm able to have two accounts in the same emulator, which is why you might notice me changing back and forth so quickly on streams and stuff. And here you have it. One Piece Bounty Rush, baby, on emulator, just like that just like that so once we're in bounty rush all we have to do is transfer id but i do recommend you guys first test it and just play with the new starter account you just like click start and you'll be able to play but i'm just going to transfer my account and i do that with facebook and you could use your Google and of course you could do transfer ID. They did upgrade the transfer ID a bit more because now you could use it multiple times. So it's a little bit more safer, but I still highly recommend linking your account to one of these Google or Facebook. So I'm gonna be logging in with Facebook. If you guys try logging in with Facebook, you should get this little error here. It says a lot of stuff, but all it means is that they want you to download the Facebook app instead of logging in through there. So you just have to download Facebook. I spelled Facebook wrong, but <laughs> just download Facebook and we're gonna log into Facebook on this app and then it should just automatically log in on OPBR. All right, boom, I just logged into Facebook on the app and now I can access out. We could go back to Bounty Rush. And now once I try to transfer Facebook, boom, it just does it automatically. And there you go, my account right there. I'm gonna be taking an extra step because like I said, I like to have my F2P Soul account in here as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So I already transferred my main account using Facebook and to transfer my Google account, I'm just gonna log into the right Google that's linked to F2P Soul. Um, the current one right now isn't the right email. So if it's the same for you, you just have to click the arrow over here and then you click add another account. You can add the right Gmail. Boom, now I've got to switch the account from my normal email to my sole OVBR account. And I don't need anything else. So now when I go back to Bounty Rush and transfer the data, I could transfer using Google account and then choose the right account. And then boom, F2P Soul right there. So then I'm just gonna log into F2P Soul for now. I'm gonna hop on my main after, but might as well collect my dailies while I'm here. Of course, there's a hefty download for OPBR, 1.7 gigabytes. So go ahead and download that. Make sure you got storage and boom, it's gonna go ahead and do its thing. All right, so OPBR is just about finished here and I'm just gonna enable the FPS so I could see it and then boom, look at the FPS is already banging, bro. Like I'm telling you, you don't gotta do no 60 FPS glitch or nothing. It's just going, it's just beautiful FPS. So let's just claim my dailies. Um, you know, definitely be claiming all these. And look at that, none of my gems got deleted because my accounts are always on Android. They're always on emulator or on my phone, which is a uh, Samsung Galaxy. Hate on me all you want. Android over iPhone, bro, that's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, now we're done. You could go ahead and play 
but you're just not going to be able to use your controller because we don't got it set up yet so we're going to go ahead and go into solos and survival 100 that's where i like to do my testing i would recommend bringing in a pretty tanky character or like one of your leveled up characters so i'll bring dofi and just go up in here because you could just allow the bots to hit you and stuff if you're tanky and just leave the leave the buttons on screen so all we want to do to edit the controls is go on this second little button over here on the top right keyboard mapping we just want to click that and click the controller little icon you could use a keyboard as well but we're gonna be using controller i'm using a playstation 5 controller xbox works just as fine so you want to go ahead and click that little button and as you can see here we have a bunch of these little thingies so pretty much how you would set it up is just dragging this and then click the button on your controller that you want so i do lb for skill one rb for skill two is how you usually set it up rt for attack and you could do your analogs here and you could do the camera here i put it in the middle and the camera is amazing in this by the way but instead of doing all this complicated setup yourself i have the full setup already saved and i'm gonna put the link in the description to download that so go ahead and download that real quick you can find the link in the description and once you got it downloaded we're gonna go over here and click open key map directory so click that and it'll open up this folder right here once we're in this folder just go into your downloads or wherever you downloaded the file i put in the description copy it and then we're just gonna paste it in here it's gonna look something like this uh, opr ps5 i said i called it ps5 because I'm not too sure if it works on xbox it should but if it doesn't just let me know i'll put the xbox version as well and yeah just let me know in the comments but once you have that in there we do have to restart the emulator so just save everything here click the x and then just restart the emulator all right so as bounty rush is opening up all we have to do is now go back in the controller configurations and boom you should have the controller configuration there opbr ps5 save that and you could have it where it shows it so show the keyboard in game so you would you know if you don't know it yet just keep it on the screen so you could play with it and stuff but i kind of have it mastered so i just like it not in the screen you could also go full screen by clicking this button on the side you can click f11 as well and then once you're in here let's go back in survival 100 again i don't recommend you <laughs> go straight into league you definitely want to test it with your controller get a feel for it practice a bit and then go for it also i'm telling you bring in a uh, flying unit like marco or someone you could control while like moving bro you're gonna feel the difference you're gonna feel the difference there's a couple other settings i like to change i like to max the horizontal camera sensitivity um i like to turn off auto camera adjust i do like rotate minimap that one's completely personal preference but the rest you should do and auto target off it's not even useful and yeah it should be good so now the camera won't rotate by itself here you move it with the analog so yeah look at that you could go into flight with rb hold rb and this is the best part about emulator bro you don't get this type of movement on on mobile you know you can't really do this i could do 360s with marco while looking the opposite direction and just really do some crazy stuff that it's kind of annoying to do on mobile you know but there you have it, OPBR on emulator. Very simple now with LD Player 9. A lot of people have been telling me about it, but I was very stuck on my Bluestacks ways, you know, like stuck in my old gen ways. But LD Player has very much changed the, changed the whole game around because you don't got to do no F FPS trick in the beginning like you have to do on Bluestacks. All you do is simply launch it and you're good to go. No bugs, no nothing and it's very nice but anyways i hope you guys found this tutorial useful definitely leave a like if you did subscribe to the channel if you're new join the discord of course and if you need any sort of help you can message me on discord so yeah i'll be i'll be there for assistance and yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next live stream or video peace